Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Neville and welcome to Selective Imagery. Welcome to Oyster Catchers, nature's best oyster shuckers. So we start off by going to the Myrtles Inlet Marsh Walk in South Carolina. Here you have a marsh area with easy access to the open ocean. You have a boardwalk area that allows access to a number of restaurants and bars. Also access for canoe and jet ski rentals with boat tours and charter fishing vessel access. Another walkway slash pier goes out fairly far into the marsh opposite the restaurants and is known as Veterans Pier. Once at the end of the pier to one's left is a small island that you're going to see in a minute known as Goats Island. And until recently, it had live goats on it during the tourist season. Unfortunately, for several reasons, primarily the increase in storms and king tides, which forced the goats to be removed from the island, there are no longer any live goats, just a few metal sculptures to remind us of what was. As we approach another day, as the sun rises over these homes, we think about what we're here for. And that's to get pictures of some oyster catchers, which will be up in a second or two. They're about 18 to 19 inches in size. They have dark brown sides, wings and back, a white chest and belly, a black head with a red ring around the eyes and a large red-orange bill with pink legs. Both male and female look alike. Very, very beautiful birds. And, you know, they're looking around for food and um, we'll have an upcoming video where you'll get to see uh, them in action. And as they walk along the shoreline, they're keeping their eyes peeled for hopefully their next meal. Here's one looking straight down. He thinks he's got a spot. You never know. Yep. He's got something in his mouth. He got an oyster. Now we're going to watch a quick video. This was really, really early in the morning. And they're just kind of walking around, getting ready to start their day as the sun becomes more predominant in the sky and lights things up more. They get more active. Usually you don't even see them until the sun starts to rise, to be honest with you. All of a sudden they just fly in and you out of nowhere and you go, okay, there they are. And in this area we have one nesting pair that will typically be on one side or the other of the pier. And there are other nesting pairs, but they are... Um, they don't share space well. They all have their different areas. Now this one is hammering away trying to get something out of the water now they had their eating habits are they live predominantly on oysters but they also feed on insects and worms they open the oysters one of two ways some like to stab their bills in an open shell before they have time to close it they kind of call them stabbers and then you have others like this one called ham hammerers they shatter the shell in half typically and remove the food. So this one thinks he has something worth digging for. And we'll see. Wow. Okay, that's not an oyster. That's a big clam. And as you'll see, 
what a disappointment because it realizes it's empty there's nothing in there just throws it on the ground and walks away almost trips over some other shells <laughs> that's kind of funny but they don't give up easy and there's the there's the mate to the far left But they are beautiful birds. I mean, uh, you know, sometimes you'll get groups of them. There's the gull checking out the shell that was dropped or looking at some shells and obviously disappointed because there's nothing in any of them. We then pan back to the oyster catchers. There we go. And he's just putzing around, kind of like poking the bill in here or there. You'll get to see some serious feeding activity in the next video. Here the couple just kind of walk along for, together for a while. And like I said, they're very territorial. So, you know, if another oyster catcher kind of flew in on them, they, they would chase it off. There are other nesters in the in the marsh area in general, but they they have a um, like I said they have a very tight area that they control. Now the nesting is interesting. Uh, it's what they call a ground type, which is by definition can be as simple as a shallow depression scraped into the sand. And here you got some images of one uh, gulping down an oyster. And here's the video where you're going to see a lot of feeding activity. And it just hammers away. Gets the innards. Very fun to watch, very relentless, does not give up. It'll go back and keep hitting that same spot and it will be rewarded. Like I was saying, there are nests that can be uh, something as simple as a shallow depression scraped into the sand or a rocky area or it could be a mound, slight mound of vegetation on the ground or in the water. A lot of young get lost in this area because uh, we have the king tide so they'll lay their eggs and we'll get a good king tide and basically it'll destroy the nesting area and carry away the eggs and then they have to start all over again which they do. Extremely young fledglings um, if we have one of those tide events or storm during that time they may not survive because there really isn't high ground here I mean uh, they're just slightly above sea level at best. This one is definitely very hungry today. Now when they have their young, they lay between two to four eggs. They're olive color with a little bit of a coarse brown markings on it. The incubation is 30 days. Females incubate incubate during the day and the males incubate at night. Fledging is between 35 and 40 days. And it does not take long for those youngsters to know how to get their own food. There it goes, gulping that one down. Success. Persistence is the name of the game. And they are very persistent. And here's a few still images, and we're nearing the end of the um, 
video here, but uh, just a handful of images to share for you before we end this. I hope you uh, enjoyed looking at these oyster catchers. Um, they're, they're a joy to capture and uh, sometimes you get lucky you get a group of them flying by um, but they are pretty pretty large shorebirds that's for sure so take care everyone until next time thank you for watching my channel i really appreciate it please give me a like and leave a comment pro or con just please be respectful and if you really enjoyed it you know, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And remember my motto, enjoy life, capture some of it, get out there and get some of your best images, irregardless of the genre that you choose to shoot. Take care and God bless.